Good afternoon, my name is Josh from Cyclones Oz and severe thunderstorms are now developing through in the northeast of New South Wales and we're expecting another mean outbreak to occur as we head out towards tomorrow and then eventually out towards this weekend. We have a couple of scattered severe thunderstorms over the border into New South Wales. They're about to cross over in towards southeastern Queensland. However, by the time they get there, they should be of the non-severe variety. We're also seeing a lot of cloud cover now streaming towards the Bur uh, Burnett Forecast District and this is heading over in towards the scenic rim now as well with skies clearing down there. But that that means that those temperatures are rising and that means that severe thunderstorm potential is also rising too. Some good thunderstorm activity has taken off in a very isolated fashion through parts of the Maranoa and in towards the north of the Maranoa inland from the Capricornia coastline and through parts of northern Queensland outside of Mackay. That is not on your screen right now but have a look at these temperatures here. It's warming up through southeast Queensland a lot warmer than what we did expect and this could mean that we're in for a bit of a light show later tonight. If you are brand new to my channel please do consider subscribing but let's get stuck straight into the forecast right now and talk about what we're expecting tonight followed by the strong storms that are now possible tomorrow afternoon and evening and for that we're going to need the convective forecast modeling later tonight we're expecting scattered thunderstorm activity to move up from the remnants of this line of storms that's now beginning to develop throughout the northeast of new south wales this line will then push over the border in towards southeast queensland and moving through the warwick and the toowoomba region by around seven or eight o'clock tonight and then through the scenic rim around the same time and then potentially into the gold coast hinterland and the gold coast itself around nine o'clock tonight it's doubtful as to whether or not storms will make it into the Brisbane area but if they do they're likely to be non-severe as with all of the storms through southeast Queensland tonight but we still may see some strong winds heavy rainfall and some small hailstones so be aware of what the risks are tonight which are very very minimal might I add some of these storms could be strong though as mentioned and it definitely pays to watch and pay close attention to the radar as we get uh, or continue going throughout the outbreak uh, through southeast Queensland now compared to yesterday's outbreak it's a very very similar setup where we had that squall developing out in the west and that headed over towards the east and we're seeing something very similar on the forecast tonight but it is definitely the little brother of what we saw yesterday less lightning activity less rainfall less damaging wind activity and it's doubtful as to whether or not it'll even make it into the brisbane or the gold coast area as many will recall some of the some of the storms yesterday particularly those further inland were quite wild but through southeast queensland they were very tame and that means that later tonight we're expecting very minimal uh, impacts from these severe thunderstorms and i really don't think that this is something to be concern about right now. We've had some strong thunderstorms though in New South Wales and typically when we see these strong thunderstorms here beginning to become joined up into this line and we've got patchy thunderstorm activity out here north of Lightning Ridge, it is definitely a little bit of a feature that is now worth watching uh, for our people down in southeast Queensland. You can see with that cloud activity now beginning to develop as well, it, we definitely are looking at something crossing in towards southeast Queensland late tonight, but it's likely to be on the less severe variety. Now the reason why thunderstorms never got themselves going through parts of the Capricornia coastline today, not that they were really expected to do so unless you're a follower of the official forecast was because we had all of this cloud here this morning that was situated through here in the parts of the Capricornia coastline it's now since moved offshore but you can see temperatures never really got up there through parts of the Capricornia coastline even inland temperatures got to about 34 degrees today they were forecast to get closer to about 38 and that's nothing flash 34 degrees is nothing flash from a severe thunderstorm standpoint it means that there was less instability in the atmosphere and just less favorable conditions for these thunderstorms to get themselves going we had some pretty strong capping through southeast Queensland today so we needed these temperatures to get well into the 30s through parts of the uh, Lockyer Valley or into the scenic rim and they just never got there 32 or 33 degrees was to kind of the maximum that we saw and for Brisbane even cooler around 29 degrees and again just not warm enough to get storms off the ground so we've got some patchy cloud activity moving through southeastern Queensland right now but it just wasn't enough to get these storms off the ground and that's okay sometimes these outbreaks completely bust apart on us and this one was definitely forecast to be on that flimsy side of what was going to happen and as predicted earlier today very much a touch and go forecast it touched and now it's gone we're not expecting severe thunderstorms or wild severe thunderstorms through southeast Queensland the chance will arise though as mentioned later tonight when that squall line does cross the border over in towards the scenic rim and then up in towards the Brisbane area but again, a pretty minimal impact is expected, all things considered. Now, tomorrow conditions get a whole lot worse through southeast Queensland for severe thunderstorm activity. We're expecting that trough to be located just inland from the southeast Queensland coastline, which means we're going to have this line of Queensland coastline and inland to the Burnett and through the Capricornia coast, where we've got that warm dry air coming out of the west here. Very, very warm and dry. We're expecting temperatures to be approaching 42 degrees through some of these locations. That will then interact with the trough, which is drawing in moisture from the Coral Sea and the Pacific Ocean, and that's all going to 
me to create a very healthy environment for severe thunderstorms anywhere around Eidsvold, Kingaroy, Maroochydore, the Sunshine Coast, Brisbane and the Gold Coast and we could be seeing something very special set off tomorrow afternoon and evening. Have a look at this. This is convective available potential energy values and this is a measurement of the instability in the environment through southeast Queensland and you can see convective available potential energy values are going to be between that 3,500 to 4,200 realm tomorrow afternoon and evening. Now sometimes this model does get overbaked a little bit so these numbers may be on the higher side of what's actually going to occur but it still paints a very unstable picture through southeast Queensland. The Monday outbreak of severe thunderstorms that tracked up through the scenic rim and then into the Brisbane area dropping 14 centimetre hailstones around Brisbane had convective available potential energy values of 3,600 and again just to compare that to what we're going to be looking at tomorrow we're looking at values approaching 4,000 so even better. Now remember CAPE is not everything for thunderstorms but it's a great driver and a great metric, metric to predict how strong these thunderstorms are going to be. So we're definitely looking at some supercell thunderstorm activity and some large to potentially giant hailstones between four to eight centimetres in diameter. But what does this all mean? All these numbers, all this cape, all of this stuff? Well, it is, as mentioned, a metric for thunderstorm severity on the forecast, but these numbers can be arbitrary at times. So anything over about a thousand, we see thunderstorms getting themselves off the ground. Nothing crazy, but pretty stock standard stuff. 2000 can produce severe thunderstorms through Southeast Queensland. We're well and truly eclipsed those values through tomorrow and even by extension we've eclipsed those values today so in the right conditions 2000 can get the job done for severe thunderstorms 3000 is where i start paying big attention that's where we're talking about some big time severe thunderstorm activity and we're talking about our very dangerous severe thunderstorm threat so destructive wind gusts giant hailstones all of that sort of stuff that's what begins to rise with 3000 or 3500 cape and then when we're talking about 4000 cape massive massive thunderstorm potential we're approaching 4000 cape on Monday, and that's why we saw such wild, severe thunderstorm development into the scenic rim, which then tracked through Brisbane, dropping those giant hailstones. Instability in the environment is what keeps those hailstones in the atmosphere long enough to become giant. So seeing these numbers tomorrow is very, very concerning indeed. And some of those highest numbers are located into the very badly battered areas from Monday's outbreak, including through here around the Logan City, where these numbers rise up to about 4,500. Pretty difficult to believe uh, through Southeast Queensland. They can be very convectively favorable, but these numbers are absolutely bonkers. But all of this means nothing if we don't have all of the conditions coming together on Thursday. And humidity is going to be on the lower side of what we normally expect for severe thunderstorms, which is kind of our one saving grace right now. If we have a look at the humidity values up here into the uh, Burnett forecast district here, this is just outside of Kingaroy and Gympie, you can see that blue line is still relatively distant from that red line. It's okay. It is definitely enough to get some monster severe thunderstorms off the ground. But if we're going to be comparing it to Monday, we're going to be left disappointed because Monday it was just wildly more impressive than this. And I think that's where I need to come in and say it doesn't really matter if we compare this to Monday or not. Monday was such an extreme and such a crazy day through Southeast Queensland, especially in through the Brisbane City area, that any comparison is going to be meaningless. So let's just remind ourselves and say that the forecast is suggesting some very dangerous severe thunderstorms once again on Thursday, uh, as mentioned through the scenic rim and then into the Lockyer Valley and then up, especially into the South Burnett and inland from the Capricornia coastline. Two areas of very severe thunderstorm potential lies ahead, and this may also to include the Brisbane and the Gold Coast hinterland area through Thursday afternoon. As a comparison to Monday, it doesn't really stack up, but as a comparison to general severe thunderstorm potential through southeast Queensland, get ready, Thursday will produce something on the significant side. The good news is conditions calm down as we head out towards Friday. Overall, a very dry atmosphere is expected, particularly into the lower levels. Have a look at how far the blue line separates from the red line. A massive, massive spread, which means severe thunderstorms are not expected to occur on Friday, particularly through southeast Queensland. It's going to be very, very dry indeed and also quite windy as well so expect Friday to be a little bit calmer but then the severe thunderstorms return right again on Saturday another big time severe thunderstorm outbreak is possible this time looks a little bit further inland here which could include the Marano and the Warrego region and then north of Chinchilla up into the Burnett forecast district around Kingaroy and Gympie and some wild severe thunderstorm potential also lying through parts of southeastern Queensland along the scenic rim and then into the Brisbane forecast district as well on Saturday afternoon and evening but have a look at how far the blue and the red line are away from each other they are neck and neck. What this means is very high precipitation storm modes are expected and as you can see on the rainfall forecast this translates to some pretty significant rainfall accumulations now on the outlook Saturday afternoon and evening from these severe thunderstorms alone. In fact outside of the Maranoa and into the Warrior forecast district and through parts of the Burnett forecast district if you get impacted by severe thunderstorms you could be looking at anywhere between 40 to 100 millimeters of rainfall coming through on Saturday afternoon and evening which is very significant and could cause some pretty significant flooding as well. And just to 
really drum that down on Saturday. As you can see, we've got that dry slot in the atmosphere, but have a look at how slow the winds are moving into the mid-levels here where those thunderstorms are going to be pushed around. About 10 to 20 knots. Now, if we think back to a couple of weeks ago on November the 8th, which was also a Saturday thunderstorm outbreak through southeast Queensland, very slow moving supercell thunderstorms translated to hundreds upon hundreds of millimetres of rainfall occurring in a few locations around Bow Desert, Boona and Rathdowney. Very similar setup lying ahead for this Saturday and we may be talking about some monster thunderstorms that produce some very high precipitation accumulations into the scenic rim and the Gold Coast hinterland and also around Ardswold, Kingaroy, Gympie and then inland to Chinchilla to room in June and Roma. Definitely going to be a day worth watching. Saturday could produce some big rain dumpers and a lot of lightning as well from these severe thunderstorms. Looking ahead as we get out and towards the first couple of days of December, dry conditions are expected, but then as we get really long range, we could be talking about another thunderstorm outbreak through southeast Queensland around the 7th or the 8th of December. Forecast is still pretty uncertain on this one, and in terms of the details, we're going to have to wait another couple of days to really decide what is going to happen here or really what the forecast models are trying to decide as to what's going to happen through southeast Queensland. But it's still definitely a day that is worth watching at this point in time. So it'll be interesting to see what does happen here as we get out to about the 6th or the 7th of December. It looks like we may be talking about a one or two day severe thunderstorm outbreak once again through southeast Queensland. Again, pretty typical for early December. Still got that massive severe thunderstorm on the potential uh, uh, potential on the forecast for southeast Queensland at this time of the year. Now, just before I finish this video off, I would just like to say, what are we looking at tonight and Thursday and also by extension on Saturday because it's three different risks. Tonight through southeast Queensland, don't panic. These thunderstorms are going to be of the non-severe variety, and if they even make it in towards the Brisbane area, it's going to be more good rather than bad. A little bit of needed rainfall, some lightning activity to keep everybody entertained, and probably awake as well after about 9 or 10 o'clock as these storms roll in. But for the most part, non-severe thunderstorms are expected, and you can even see out towards central New South Wales, these storms are beginning to get a little bit weaker as the afternoon hours roll on. So the risk tonight, very, very minimal, minimal right now, and doesn't even stack up to last night's risk, let alone Monday's risk through southeast Queensland. As we push things out towards Thursday, there is a substantial risk. And again, four to eight centimetre hailstones tomorrow afternoon and evening north of Brisbane into the Wyvernhoe Outlook area and then through parts of the Burnett Forecast District. I would recommend having your severe thunderstorm action plan in place tomorrow morning in case these thunderstorms do go crazy. I'll have a full forecast on these storms tomorrow morning uh, and I'll be explaining the details as to what we're going to be expecting and chances are we'll have to be running some live coverage on these storms as well. In terms of Brisbane and the Gold Coast, it looks a lot better than the, than the situation on Monday. But again, as mentioned, we can't really be drawing a fair comparison because Monday was just so extreme through southeast Queensland. Some very serious stuff maybe on the cards. And then Saturday, as mentioned, a rainfall risk, particularly further inland around Chinchilla, uh, Chinchilla Kingaroy, Eidsvold and Taroom. Some big rainfall potential from these severe thunderstorms. It's not often that I see numbers like this from the European forecast model. And even through parts of the scenic rim in southeast Queensland as a whole, some pretty big numbers are now on the forecast as well, rainfall-wise. And we could be talking about some pretty significant thunderstorm potential down there as well. So expect some heavy rain on Saturday afternoon and evening. A completely different variety of thunderstorms compared to what we are expecting to occur tomorrow and what we saw on Monday. It's an interesting one, but that's what Southeast Queensland's weather scene is at this time of the year. Interesting with a capital I. In fact, probably in all caps, Southeast Queensland definitely producing the thunderstorms, producing the goods as it has been doing for the last couple of weeks. Very, very interesting stuff and lots of stuff to keep us on our toes. Now, if you are brand new to my channel, please do consider subscribing as well. And if you haven't already, go and check out my Facebook page as well. Send me in your weather photos and videos over there as well. And I'll have some frequent updates throughout the course of tonight as what we're going to be expecting tomorrow through Southeast Queensland. An interesting one lies ahead. A new hat I might hear you ask as well in the comment section. Well, this is over on Coastwatch. I'll leave a link in the pinned comment and also in the description. Go over to their Black Friday sale and uh, get yourself this hat here if you purchase the limited ed edition Brownies Coastwatch cap for $40. Uh, and you can get this blue one for free. High quality materials, great stuff. And I'm working with Coastwatch right now to bring the Southeast Queensland weekend weather forecast. So go and support those that support Cyclones Oz and get yourself a sweet, sweet cap as we head in towards our summer, our high UV months. That's gonna be all for me though today. A special shout out to our channel sponsors. Their names are on screen right now. Again, I could not run this show without them. So of course their support is, support is as usual, massively appreciated, but that's gonna do it for me today. I'll catch you on the next storm. Goodbye.